Hello, it's Robin here from Mindstorms360 and I'm showing you another EV3 robot. So it looks familiar. It's a new version of my favourite robot I've ever done. Well, now this one is my favourite robot. It's Hill Climber 3.0. The old version was Hill Climber 2.0. It's pretty much the same. It's got the same gear reduction in there. Uh, There's pretty much the same layout of Caterpillar tracks, the four triangular ones. Um, but the other one used a not um, allowed building connection. Uh, I can't remember what it is, I just wrote it down that it had one. Uh, and this one, I'm pretty sure doesn't. Um, so, yes, it's got the two EV3 large motors, and that's all the motors it uses. Um, it's meant to just be used on remote control. It, they're geared down from a 12... Um, geared, yeah, down from a 12 tooth gear to a 24. So it's not that bad. It's half the speed of the motors. Um... And it's got, yeah, the four tri triangular tracks. Um, it's got this flat section on the top, which I'll show you. Um, and it's got the EV3 in the middle. I was running quite low on parts, so I used lots of those pieces um, instead of bushings, these pieces. So let's have a go at driving it around. So although I called it a hill climber, it's not that good at getting over just straight square objects, but it's good at going over a steep slope. So um, I'll show you some of that very soon, but first I'm going to show you it's a camera holder. Yay! Yeah, another one. So here's the camera holder this time. It looks like a complete mess of beams, but uh, I'm going to attach it onto the robot instead of this flat section so I'm just gonna do that now so there's the robot with the camera holder on camera will go that uh, and here's a better look at the other bit you can see these bits are flat um, just giving you little clues as to what it's for so um, I'm going to put the camera in so this is what it looks like with the camera attached on. You can see the um, one of the tracks here, um, and it's angled downwards a little bit. I can angle it even more down, or no, even more up, and even more down, like that. So I'm going to remote control it around. Oh, sorry. I'll just fix that. So that's what it's like with the camera on it. Um, I'm going to, you might have got a little glimpse of the bit I'm about to show you now. So I'm going to cut and attach this bit back on and then I'll show you the bit I haven't shown you yet. 
so that's that bit back on that's, I think that's how it goes anyway it should still work so um, now I'm going to bring you to another place and I will show you the bit the what this is for use with so here's our test it's a ramp it's about there's it compared to the ev3 controller um and i'm just going to show you how all terrain the robot is then um, that ticking sound was just the wire getting stuck in the track it doesn't normally do that so I'll show you that again and again and again And, uh, wait, no, I'm not going to do it again. Um, so now if I actually do do it again. Um, and now it's put here. You can see that this comes up to the level of this thing. And actually, to be honest, that was a coincidence. But uh, it's a very helpful one. So now I'm going to bring in the other thing. It's snap tracks. So it just drives straight on. Actually it works best backwards. There we go. Um, and then this can just drive off. Snapdrags can drive off now. Or just straight off. So that's my Hill Climber 3.0 robot. Um, if you've got any ideas for further attachments, for new, for even more versions of this robot or other robots, please tell me um, at my blog. And for more information and on this and other robots, also go to my blog. It's at www.mindstorms360.wordpress.com. Uh, and to um, to tell me that kind of thing, just leave a comment. So thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, goodbye!